Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right, we have a letter that came in today from Jason Smith. And Jason says, Hi, Serge. I have recently been studying and applying the PPGS. One problem I am seeing is toe hits. I am striking the ball more towards the toe of the face than the center. Any suggestions? Jason Smith. Okay, definitely have some suggestions and I'm sure one of them will probably be correct. Uh, I guess there's so many options on this, but it's, it's obvious that for whatever reason, the, the club is approaching, coming inward a little bit, which could be something from outside to in, which would be causing it to hit out on the toe and not in the center, rather than your arm straightening up and, 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 and swinging into, out into the ball and down the line. All right, so the key was, let's start off with that. What would be one of the biggest keys as to why the club could be coming somewhat from the outside to the inside is, was one of the biggest problems of, of toe hits. Well, alignment could be aiming right and you have to pull across the ball a little bit to get it back to the aiming line. There's one of them. So you need to check your alignment, parallel left. A second one could be uh, maybe reaching a little bit too far. And, 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 and because if one's reaching and the arms are coming down like this, the tendency is if your brain starts to sense that you're going to fall forward, it tends to start getting you to stand up and, uh, you know, start to straighten up and stand up. And that could be pulling the club in. So you'd actually be pulling it inside uh, and, and, and that could be causing it. All right. Uh, another one could be just, just the exact opposite, standing too close to the ball. All right. So if you were reaching over here and you were standing too far and you're about ready to fall into the ball, as you pull up, you pull up just enough where the club gets pulled inside. Conversely, if you're standing too close to the ball, and now you have to do what? You either have to spin out of the way faster, or you start to come up to make room and straighten your legs up, that could be pulling the toe in, uh, the club face in and hit the toe. Another one sometimes is, this is a hangover from, from those who have been doing a uh, rotational swing, all right, and that is, uh, you see a lot of people have been taught to swing with towels under their arms or, or take, a, take a head cover or, or, or a, a handkerchief or, or even a, a glove and they put, it under their, they put it under their arms. Sometimes they put it under both arms. If they, wanna, if they really want to work on tucking in the back swing, they keep it there and they want it up here and see your, arms are, your arm never, never really stretches because if you're going to lift like we say, it'll fall down every time, right? So same thing on this side. If we hit the ball and we come up, and finish, it's going to fall down every time. So the comment I've always had is you clear the chest, you never crush them. All right. So women like that because they're never, they're never crushing their chest. And, and for men, I say, make believe you got a pack of cigarettes in each pocket. You should clear, never crush. Okay. Now, because so many people have worked diligently on, on keeping both arms close, if not one or the other at other times, what happens is if somebody is, has been taught to, to really keep this one close on the way down, as when you come in, they want you to pull your arm in close to your body to kind of feel like your body is now going to be guiding your arm and it can't get away from you. They talk about they don't want, they don't want your arms getting away from you. You pull in like this, and because the CGs are, should be straightening your arms out, and if you truly let them straighten out coming into impact, eventually you will drop it pretty quick right after impact. But if you keep that there until after impact, your arm is starting to rotate around your body. What's that? It's being pulled inside. That is one of the biggest reasons that I see for people hitting the ball on the toe. Or, in fact, if you do that and you do, and you do, a, and you do practice swings, you don't, you don't hear very much swish, if any at all. All right? And you'll also see slow, slow motion swing. Your arm's going to stop breaking down because for your arm to stay uh, straight and straight now, it has to be allowed to move away from the body. All right, but if you're keeping it on the body, if you're keeping it on the body, what's happening? It's actually starting to slide around, slide around you, and that's pulling the club inside. And if that club's being pulled in at all before impact, there's your toe. That's a big concept of your toe shots. So if you if you've been doing anything I've ever practiced, keeping your elbows close to the body, keeping them tucked, towels under the arms, head covers, golf gloves under your arms. And I still see a lot of that out on the tour every time I'm out there. I see tons of guys doing that because that's the rotational swing. They want to keep their, keep their close to their body. Their body is what pulls their arms. And you try to go to PPGS and somehow you get up here and on the way down, you got your arms, you're pulling your arms into your body. You could be hitting those, you could be hitting those, those, those toe jobs on your club. It's we got to lift up, 
I call it nice lift, air out your armpits on both sides. And you do that, your arms will straighten out going into the ball, and, and they'll be coming in and approaching the ball on, on, and on at impact, and they'll go straight down the line, and then they'll come up, and you will not be able to ever keep anything under your arms when you swing that way. And you start hitting it much more solid and straight and shooting those lower scores. So check out those things. You can't be ever what I call a huggy bear or, or keeping your arms on your body. You always got to be free. Let those arms lift, air out your armpits, and swing up to lift the club up, mitten into the tree, up the tree, into the forward mitten, up the tree. And your arms will your arms will extend at impact properly, and you'll be hitting the center of the golf club. All right, so check out that staying too close to the ball, getting the arms on the body. You hug your wife and your kids. You don't hug yourself, and so you don't want to be a huggy bear. You want to air out those armpits, and you start hitting the sweet spot a heck of a lot more consistently, and hitting those better shots. Well, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking with you all again soon.